Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to Ask Be Anything. And I hope y'all had a great day so far. I hope y'all woke up with gratitude in y'all hearts. And I hope y'all woke up working and ready to work towards your goals, your dreams, your standards, or whatever purpose and vision God has laid before you or placed in your heart. The question of today is, how do I stop blaming people? And I know this is a big one because, oh, you know, we love to blame. It's everybody else's fault. Is there, oh, this reason why I couldn't do this? Oh, I had the kids, so I couldn't get this. Oh, my mom and them, my daddy, and then my cousins. And then, you know, I got this accident. And then, you know, I lost my job. You know, we all love to blame people because let me tell you, it take you off the guilt train. You don't have to feel guilty. But if you never feel like any hurt or pain, and I'm not saying guilt, but if you never take responsibility over your life, you are always putting other people in power of your destiny. And we don't want to do that. We want to take responsibility over our life because it's up to you and God to get you where you trying to go to desires that God has placed in your heart. So how do we do that? Like I said, we take responsibility for our life. We stop blaming everybody. We stop saying, oh, this person did it. This person did it. This situation did it. We start looking at ourselves and say, you know what? This happened to me, but what am I going to do about it? What do I have control over? What can I take control over? What decisions I can make to do better? Because we all have been in positions where external things that were completely out of our control happened to us, but it don't stop there. You have to grow in this life. This life is not for the, the weak and the blamers. You have to take responsibility. You have to take accountability. What does that look for? Okay, I grew up. I didn't have this. I didn't have this. This happened to me. That happened to me. But you know what? Today, I'm making a decision to do better. What can I do better to get my dreams fulfilled? What steps can I take? What books can I read? What habits can I stop? What behaviors can I add to my life to make me get to where I have to go? Because I'm sick of people when people always want to blame everybody else. That's not fair. That's not fair to you. You know, God is not so small that he will put your destiny in somebody's hand. So this one person do you wrong or you lose this job or you get in this accident or something happens to you traumatic. Oh, now your life is completely over. No, that's a testimony. So when you get through it through God, you can speak the truth about it. You can tell people, man, I've been through this, that I've been in the mud and I'm up and I'm standing because God is real. You know, I feel like as a, as a human, we tend to put limits on God because we lean to our own understanding, which he tells us not to do. So to stop blaming people, take responsibility for your actions, because I don't care what happened in your past. You still can choose. You have a choice. You have decisions that you can make to make your life better. It's not where you came from. It is where you are going. So take your power back and you say, you know what? I made mistakes. People in my life made mistakes but I'm going to do better today. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to create that business that I know I can create. I don't care if I didn't finish high school, I'm going to go get my GED and I'm going to create this, this business. You know, I'm going to have kids. I know I probably came from a broken home, but I'm going to have kids and I'm going to have a, a two parent home and I'm going to work at it and I'm going to read and I'm going to find out what I have to do to grow and be better as a woman or as a man to have that family structure that I didn't have when I was a child. You know, I came from poorness, you know, from broke, busted and poor food stamps. But I'm deciding today that I'm going to build wealth. So whatever I have to do, whatever finance books I have to read, whatever budget or investing I have to save to do to get me to that place of wealth, I'm going to do that. But you know what we do? We sit back and we fall in this victim mindset and cry and whine and it's everybody. But you don't grow like that. Growth come from taking responsibility, holding yourself accountable, holding yourself accountable, get out the lack mindset and step into the abundance mindset. Start praying, start reading your Bible because we wasn't sitting here to do this all on our own. We wasn't sitting here. God did not place us here for us to do it on our own. What if Jesus was like that? What if Jesus was like, man, God, man, I don't want to die on the cross. They ain't going to never be nothing anyway. They still going to be sinners. I don't want to die on the cross. Man, I don't want Donald Cross. That's not fair. That's not fair. But you know what he did? He stood in boldness 
and truth and trust for his father. And he did what he had to do. And look how it worked out. So why would you just take take advantage of this blessing that Jesus has gave us, that God has gave us the freedom of choice? You can choose to do better no matter what. God has grace and mercies for grace and mercy for all of us. Okay, prime example. Yesterday I went to um the library to fax something, right? I walked to the back. They had the lady standing at the desk. I was like, hey, how you doing? I was coming to fax, you know, this paper to this business. She was like, okay, well, I'm new here. Give me a moment. I'll call someone to help you. All right, boom. The other lady come, they begin, they start the fax. The lady that came to assist the new lady told me that the lady that I spoke to, the new lady was deaf. So she taught herself to read lips. And I'm like, all I could think about is, you know, the scriptures in the Bible, and I'm paraphrasing, where they say that we come from one body and it's one spirit. And, you know, if something is not working properly or, or failed to do its job, God give you something else to enhance it all so the body won't fall short because of this thing. You know, I'm paraphrasing. I don't really know where it is in the Bible. But when she said that, all I could think about was that like, oh my God, oh my God. So, you know, once they finished with the facts, I asked, I was like, are you deaf? Like completely deaf? She was like, I'm completely deaf. And I taught myself how to read lips. And I'm like, I can't believe it. And I told her, I said, you a gift from God. And what I meant by that, not because, oh, you're deaf and you taught yourself how to read lips. No, I say you're a gift from God because we have people in this world that has proper hearing, 2020 vision, every limb work, nothing is going on, but their spirit is broken and they can't manage to pick, pick themselves up and push through whatever it is to overcome it. But yet this lady is deaf and taught herself how to read lips. Now, what if she felt sorry for herself? What if she was like, because she had every reason to, she had every reason to say, man, I don't know how to, I, I'm deaf. I might as well just stay in the house, never do nothing, never learn nothing. But she said, I'm, this is not going to stop me. So how many of you out there are willing to do that? How many of you are willing to say, you know what? I'm taking responsibility for my life. The cause that I was dealt, maybe not was fair. It wasn't fair. I, I went through some things. I made some mistakes, but you know what? Today is the day I am changing my attitude. I am taking responsibility for my actions. I am holding myself accountable and I'm going to rise above it. How many of you willing to say that? Or is it easy to just feel sorry and pitiful for yourself and never grow? But see, we don't want to look at ourselves. We don't want to look at ourselves in the mirror and say, you know what? I can do better because, oh, it's too hard. It's too hard to do it. No, it's not. No, it's not. Take your time. Ask God for help and trust him. Have faith in him. Believe in him. So that's that's just my, you know, that's just my take on it and everything. So how to stop blaming others. Take responsibility for your life. Hold yourself accountable. Stop giving other people your power. You take, you stand in your authority and say, you know what? I came from all of this, but I shall not live this forever. Because I wish I would fall victim to my past and live in that. I wish I would. We all come from trauma. We all come from brokenness. We all had things to happen to us that wasn't fair. But nobody don't have time for all of that. Nobody don't have time for all that pity. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Because this lady was deaf. And she taught herself how to read lips. Because you know what she said? I'm determined to rise above this. This is not going to slow me down. So get in that determined, get in that determination, say, I'm not going to let nothing keep me. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Because if you look on YouTube, you could Google people with all types of different ailments that has rise above it, rise above it. So look, I love y'all and just stop blaming people. Stop blaming people. Stop. Just stop it. Just stop it. Don't stop today, tomorrow. Stop right now. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming people. Take responsibility. Take accountability. You where you are because you chose to be there. You are where you are because you chose to be there. Your decisions got you where you are. So... I say all this to say, you guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I really do. I love y'all. But I just want y'all 
So get it. Because that blame game is for the birds, baby. That blame game, like, let it go. Let it go. It gets you nowhere. It's going to keep you in a circle. It's going to keep you going down, 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 deep in depression. You stronger than that. God has given you have the power of God inside of you. You have the Holy Spirit in Jesus with you. How can you fail? I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah.